I didn't even start that. I, I. Welcome, my friends. Your presence means I can count Eldrith dead. I am Mordok Selandmir. And you, you've been such a boon to my allies, who will be overjoyed to learn that they can begin rebuilding the Onyx Tower for their own. The end of now, Baldur's Gate 1. It's only fitting a Dark Alliance that I offer one. you the hospitality of my keep and reward. I'm sure you'll find its dungeons to your liking. Seize them. That's it. Right there. Dude, walk like he has a pig leg. Hey, Amen. Let's not critique Black Isle Animation Department. What a team. <laughs> ah. All right, wait. Okay, so hang on a minute. Um, I'm wondering whether or not I should play this with a controller on my PC. Let's try. Works perfectly. Okay. Uh, plugged in controller. Instant, instantaneous working. One player. Easy, normal, hard. I can't remember how tough this game is. Should I play on hard mode immediately? Let's play on hard mode instantaneously, huh? Or should we just breeze through the story? Hmm. I feel like I'm going to get absolutely... Let's... Human but Look how fast the animations are. Yeah, man. Dude, it's because the resolution... Man, I'm playing on like a 4K monitor. Look at... Oh, actually, you make a really good point. Let me play on normal. You can play as a monk in this game. A moon elf necromancer. Dude. I guess this is what happens when you take 480p and you blow it up onto a 2K. <laughs> Dude, the resolution. I'm not sure what's going on. Everything's running at like two speed, I reckon. A dwarven rogue or a human cleric. I don't want to play as a barbarian, actually. I wonder if I should play as a necromancer this time. Dwarven rogue? Or a cleric? I reckon I'm going to get owned if I play as a necromancer. He's not mucking around, dude. Yeah, this dwarf has had his... Uh, he's had six monster energy drinks this morning for breakfast. And he's working on two Red Bulls right now. One in each hand. Oh, man, I'm ready for this adventure. Meanwhile, the barbarian in the background is literally chilling, man. <laughs> How come everybody else seems to be kind of normal speed, but the dwarf is like, woo. Um. Let's play as a wizard, huh? I play as a wizard. Centuries of conquest and scattered settlements have done nothing to tame the monster-filled reaches of the Western Heartlands. Perhaps it is for this reason that the realm welcomes ambitious adventurers. And Baldur's Gate, its greatest city, calls to them like a siren luring mariners to their doom. 
Why do they heed the city's song, these brave and wandering souls? Some for the greater good, others for wealth, for power, for glory. Some do not know why themselves. This is such an adventurer's tale. Rumors abound of a dark alliance gathering against Baldur's Gate, of the hateful spirit of Eldrith the Betrayer, of a black tower of onyx in which she seethes and plots. Adventurers flock to the western heartlands to forge their destinies in the fire of battle. Even now, some make their way down the tradeway, moving southwards towards Baldur's Gate. Fortune favors the bold adventurer. Do not falter. A fire tiger is out right now. It's out right now. It's on Steam. Uh. Oh my god. Turn around, Baldur's Gate. And your destiny lies down the road the other way. Okay. Wait a minute. Can I... A dagger upgrade what accuracy improves the accuracy and damage of ranged attacks alchemical law animate dead armor proficiency allows you to equip heavy armor for better defense equip leather and padded chill touch freezing touch attack against a single enemy Clarity reduces the casting cost of your spells. 10%. Okay. Contagion. Cause, curse your enemies with the plague. Dark possession. Control humanoids and lesser undead. Empower. Increases the effectiveness of various spells. Enchant item. Decrease the cost of creating and breaking down magic items. And it... Oh my god. There's a lot. Um... Increase the cost of breaking down endurance. Increase your carrying capacity. Got it. Channel death energy at nearby enemies in your front arc. Affects one additional enemy per rank. Three to nine per half second while button is held. Fear enemies closest run away. Okay. Flame arrow. Summon a magical flaming arrow. Ghoul touch paralyzes a foe. Great fortitude increases HP regen. Hand weapon. Increases your ability to fight with one-handed weapons. Haste increases speed for you and all allies. 6% increase for 8 seconds. Stuns creatures in front of you. Increase your magic energy regen rate. Life drain. Drains HP from your enemies to restore your own. Affects one additional enemy per rank. Improves your ability to fight with staves, spears, and halberds. Melf's acid arrow, a classic. Summons a magic acidic arrow. Reduces an enemy's damage output, rave enfeeblement, shield, magic shield that improves armor, 20% absorb plus 7 AC. Shocking grasp, slow, sprint, vampiric touch, a touch that steals life from enemies, willpower. If the gameplay is on speed as well. It you it it is. It is sped up. No? The game is like double speed right now. Whoops. I don't know what the difference is here. Is the game running at like double speed? How do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this map? Oops. Oh, there we go. Left. There we go. Dude, 
dude this is running at double speed what's going on there's no way have I done something Is this game running at double speed? Wait, what's X? I thought that oh, yeah. would be my last fight. I'm Kaira, a caravan guard. Not terribly, no, but I'm grateful for your concern. There is no FPS cap, so the higher, so the gruntier your PC, man, the faster this is gonna go. We were ambushed by the Red Fang Marauders. They took some of us away. Who have they taken? Please, just lend an ear. Some of the marauders took prisoners into the Trollbark Forest, southwest of here. But most of them continued southeast to Wayfork Village. They're going to raid it. <laughs> it. You must help, please. Oh, God. Monsters, brigands, mostly goblin kind. They've been raiding around Baldur's Gate for months. The city's soldiers can't find where the lot of them hole up. So, will you help? Then continue down the road until you see a path leading into the trees. It eventually leads into the Trollbark Forest. I'll meet you later in Wayfork Village. Farewell. Wayfork. Dude. Okay, what's my attack button? Okay, that's my attack button. And, and. There we go. Here's some gobbies. Look at my power and skill. This has to be fixed up. There's no way, dude. The PC version is broken right off the bat. If you play this on like the hardest difficulty, there's no way you're going to survive. Dude, and this guy was like chilling as well. Remember how fast the dwarf was? Imagine you play as the dwarf, you won't even be able to see him move, dude. Getting owned. Wait, what's level up? Uh, there we go. Animate dead. Summon undead. Aid. High ranks give stronger pets. Enchant flame arrow. Gold touch. Let's have a look here. Additional magic enemy. Um, I think I want increase your magic regen rate. Yeah, it's so fast that even like a down tap. Um, can you cap your video FPS? Can you lock the frame rate? I don't know. You usually need to use an external tool that caps FPS. Really? A touch attack that steals life from enemies. 3 to 18. Oh my god. Where's my... Damn it, I can't even wear... I can't even wear studded leather. <laughs> I'm moving so quick, man.
That's right. Uh... Shoddy amulet. Doesn't do anything, it's just coin. A lot of old games have speed problems. For example, old CPUs do not downclock the CPU, so a lot of old games play at different speeds all the time. Uh, okay, so is there any way for me to manually see if I can do this somehow? Shoddy Morningstar. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks alright. Oh, I don't mind that. Creeping Regan, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Look at me. One tap in these fools. This is so Need like twitch reflexes to kill these guys. Uh in-game options first. There's no in-game options as far as I can tell. Right? Well, I kind of like the low res, to be honest. Probably hurting people's eyeballs, eh? Plus one for leave as is. You guys are psychopaths. This is the beginning of the game, man. Can you imagine when the enemies actually get difficult? Why is that guy on fire? Sorry, let me just catch up. Let me read back a bit. I don't know why technically... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I was playing something recently that was running at 3,500 FPS. I suppose I could use this time to study. NVIDIA control panel 3D settings per game. Oh, Creepin' Reekin, that's awesome, dude. That is awesome, dude. Hey, good for you, man. Okay, we're good. Uh, does it bother you that, that I turn the resolution down? Does it look a little, little janky for you guys? You prefer it, like, up? Pick up shoddy wooden... Anybody's wondering, this is on normal difficulty, by the way. The very start of the game. Shoddy throwing knife. Um... It doesn't look different. Oh, it's bit. No, 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 no. 
all this did honestly was look at this is if you can't see this there if you're looking on a monitor you'll be able to see check this out right here um check the check this out right here see see this leaf right here right see that see the edge of this leaf right here right see 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 that right there wait just just pay attention to that what watch that watch that leaf it's literally it and of course the text i mean the the, the biggest one is obviously like all the the resolution all the, all the text but it's just it's just smoothing man that's that's all it is it's just a it's just a, a smoothing like algorithm all right it's bug roll really like the textures and stuff none of it is really changing It just looks a little bit more sparkly, that's all. Ooh, smoothie. Wonder what it's gonna be like default. Oh, board Ming, you're a legend! Alright, let's get me back in the corner where I belong. <laughs> Board Ming! <laughs> for five gifted ships. Thank you very much, dude. I love this game, Shiba. <laughs> Same, it's awesome. <laughs> Apparently, the devs wanted to make the game look better. <laughs> graphically but they received some backlash from people wanting to keep the original feelings so they reverted really what do you mean reverted <laughs> i wasn't paying attention okay wait Yo, let me see how I can do with these throwing knives. Oh, that's the end of it. Okay. better back off right fastest knife throw in the west man oh my god i can't even see those spears dude Woo! dude i'm getting owned here this is silly Oh yeah, man, the rangers are going to kill me in this game. There's no question about that. Jesus. I mean, throwing knives seem okay.
Did it, did we always slow down? Like in the water? The, even the water thing is not working properly due to the frame rate. I think I will try to like lock it. Um. Let's let's okay. So let's try let's try. So let me run back here and save it. Let me see if it makes any difference. Okay. Okay, so what do I do? <sighs> Open up NVIDIA settings. Then what? Manage 3D settings. Program settings. Uh, select Dark Alliance executable. Wait, where do I... Oh my god, where the hell am I going to find that? Okay, so add... Oh my god, yes. Add selected program. Um... And then what? Max frame rate option 4 set to 60 FPS. One thousand! That's it. So let's just go to let's just go to that's that's seriously yes yeah, it shouldn't it be thirty. I don't know. Um. You, so you think that's all it is? So I can just close it now? Alright, let's see. Let's try 60. <laughs> hey, listen, pay attention. This is PC gaming at its finest. Don't get it mistaken, man. This is how we do it. Here we go. PC Master Race, exactly. <laughs> oh, you guys.
Get it on PC, man. It's the only way to play games these days, man. PC, man. Jesus. Oh, it's working! Oh my god, dude, it's working. Hell yeah, man. Okay. Now it feels real slow, though. Is it just me? <laughs> now it just feels real slow. Is it just me, though? You guys are like... It feels like you're running through the sludge. Screen tearing? I don't see no... Nah, that's just... That must just be on your end. Um, like the, the graphics card kind of, uh, sorry, my, my capture card. I don't see no screen tearing at all. Oh man, that's sad. What? I wonder if I can set it to like, um... No, no, I... The game is playing perfectly. It's my capture card for whatever reason. I, I, dude, I don't know what the hell the problem is. It's like this capture card just sucks. Nah, it's still there, man. It's still there, trust me. How can we fix this? Is there like a, is there an automatic V-Sync in, in like the, um... In the NVIDIA settings as well? Let me just run back, hold up. We're getting there, we're getting there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um... Dude, I have a 4K 60... I have a 4K 60, like... I have the highest, most expensive graphic, uh, like... Thing, dude. It just... It just... There's just weird stuff going on. Okay, let's try again. Let's turn V-Sync on. I can't... I can't even say how many, um capture cards I've been through over the years it's been a few that's for sure uh okay on I wonder if that will work but it's weird because for me it was already fine. So I don't think that that's going to make any difference. But I'll, if it does, hey. Awesome for you guys. Right? I'm hoping it does. Is it fixed for you guys? Nah. I told you. I can see I can see it on my on in my OBS. I can see what you guys are seeing and I can see the screen tearing myself. But on my screen, it's perfect, flawless. 
a million FPS. No screen tearing. See what I'm saying? It's no, trust me, it's there. I see what you guys are seeing, man. I see it. So how the hell do we fix that? Okay, wait a minute. Let's just see. Is your monitor... No, my monitor's like... A billion hertz. Looks clunky as shit. Two points left, hang on. You'll have to remember to switch it back to its original refresh rate when you're done playing this game. Wait, which? The refresh rate of your monitor to 60 hertz. HDMI chain. do I want here um armor proficiency I think I, d I definitely want that right so I can start wearing some hell yeah look at my look at my boots man that's what I'm talking about Just use vampiric touch on the box. Nice. So I'm going to change out my um, two to three with the club. How long does that last? It just stays there? Huh. Okay, I didn't actually realize that. It's not that bad right now. I wonder if this... Oh, it doesn't actually last that long. So, I'm trying to adjust some settings on the 4K60. Uh, oh, crap. Hold up. 
to see if there's a there's literally anything that I can do to make it just okay I want you guys to just tell me something real quick um just just let me know if this works okay Just let me know if this if this is still screen tearing. Um, does anybody know if there's a way inside OBS to make the preview window like uh Like to lower the resolution of the preview window? Was that hell in the game? Yeah, it was. This one, right? Yeah. Oh, I got bastard sword. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. So it improved it. Okay, so... But really, it's still there. Which means... Which means nothing I did really changed it. Which is a little sad. I can't wield these things, can I? But they're worth good... They're worth good coins, so... You know... Yeah, that drain life is rubbish, man. Vampiric touch is where it's at, dude. Just one tapping falls. shoddy amulet um you're not the first I've seen having issues with capture cards for screen tearing yeah I've had this forever man had it forever 
It really sucks. There's one there's one of my dead guys. Is HDMI? So how do you get how do you get past that? Can't. base canvas resolution oh no no no! i don't want to change the resolution of my my canvas um so so i have done that before that doesn't change it's not going to change the screen tearing i know that that was something that we um that i experimented with when i changed to my dual pc setup yeah 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 poly bits was my first real fight easy Okay, I might be able to wield that. Four to six for a shoddy... One to six. Weighs five. This thing weighs 12. But it does four to six. I don't really use it anyway. Um, is it going to be on PS4 tonight? Nah, so they may... So someone... Which one of you guys sent me that tweet? One of you guys sent me that tweet. There's apparently some problem with the PS4, uh, PS4, uh, with the PlayStation Store. So it's not going to be on PS4 or PS5 uh, for a couple days. Sadly, I know because I wanted to get it on PS5. I wanted to be playing on PS5 today, but. Poison? Oh, here we go. god okay well let's just chill out for a second will be my first death in there dude vampiric touch is huge It's 
basically healing all of the damage that I was taking. I already have a feeling that Vampiric Touch is going to be the only thing I use in the whole game. YouTube's number one Diablo <laughs> clone streamer. <laughs> JP, thank you, man. Hope you've been doing well, dude. Wait, this is on, um, I like gone back to playing Baldur's Gate 1. I keep stuffing up some of the missions, trying to be a completionist. So it's nice watching a bit of Dark Alliance. That's awesome, dude. Baldur's Gate 1, legendary. It won't move. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. It won't move. Block all that. Block this then. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get cocky. Dude. I let my health go down, so I'm going to see how much... Got some new gloves. Shot it. What? You know what? I'm taking it. I'm taking it because, you know, whatever. <sighs> Cosmic new guy. What's up, dude? Ooh. You found a key. It appears to be a gate key. And a padded helmet. Let's get that helmet on time to look goofy hell yeah that's what I'm talking about right there for anybody that's wondering this literally came out today on steam you can get it right now um, but just be forewarned you're going to need to do a little bit of uh, FPS hacking. Because it will be running at no less than 7,000 FPS. The game will be running at like four times normal speed. So chill. Oh, wait, those things are poison. Ah, oh, I see. I got you. Oh. 
500 gold. Into the dark cave. Oh. Uh, always go in here. A decent AAA Western RPG released in the last six years or so. Six years or so? When did Divinity Original Sin 2 come out? Six years ago? May the shadows take whatever player has left me here to rot. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous? When that come out? Kill this thing. Where is it? Come on, there's some. There's some more. There's at least one or two more down here. Got him. It's if it needed to, it was 2017. There we go. Yes, what's up, man? Man, I'm dropping 26s with this vampiric touch. Easy. boss or oh, fine dagger nice I like that I think actually maybe that just sells for more there's one more where is it there we go got him Damn, so I don't think that I actually got a key, or did I? Padded boots. Two, those are 3.5, yeah. How much are those worth? Um, drop that, that's rubbish. Two to six. Oh damn, it's actually really good. Hell yeah, fine dagger. It's nice and light. I'm already at 125. 
I'm gonna have to start dropping some trash. My dissertation is going to cover games that took chances through crowdsourcing versus games that were fully funded by a mixture of the developer and the publisher. Um, was Divinity Original Sin 2 crowdfunded? I can't... Did they have like a Kickstarter for that? I think they might have. I actually can't remember. Too long ago, man. Gotta get back to work, but it's good to see you still jamming. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Windy in Wellington today, huh? Oh, I did get a key. Okay, okay. Okay, goblin boss. Intelligence, 5 magic energy per 2 points over 10. 5% earned experience for 2 points over 10. Uh, that was easy. I need 4 for this one. Um... Dude, I'm just going to upgrade my Vampiric Touch. This thing is too good. Baldur's Gate 3 last patch made the Underdark super bright. Hopefully they make it dark again. I don't like that. Iron will increase your magic energy regen rate. I think I'm going to go for that. Boom. Boss is supposed to have like a little, um, like a little health bar? What? Maybe he didn't. Hop, hop, made changes to the whole underdark added light sources and changed ambient lighting oh man terrible
Imagine an underdark that's actually lit up and bright. Oh man, I'm maxed out already. Oh no, padded boots, padded helmet. Shoddy wooden shield. Let's drop that, that thing's worth nothing. Right, anything worse or worth less than, well, these clubs. Get rid of these clubs, they're worth nothing. Dagger's worth 13. Staff is worth six. Okay, we got a little bit, a little bit more room. Holy shit, that poison does a lot. What the hell? Shoddy skimitar. Three to four. Hmm. Okay, save point over here. I gotta play Pillars of Eternity. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. It was on the list next. I think I'll make a, a after we finish with Dragon Age. Um. Seems to be locked. There's a person in there. It won't move. Oh, I see. So I can't let the people... You scumbags. I see what you're doing. It's normal dagger. I gotta play him, man. I gotta play him, I know. Full playthrough. We got Dragon Age first. Wait, what? How do I get through there? How do I get in there? What? I see a chest in there. Up. 
Do I need to be the dwarf? Maybe to like drop those explosive things. Wait, what? I was just trying to do something else. Okay. Got him. And a shoddy morning star. Wait, so where does this come out? This came out this way. I went that way. Okay. Let's let all these peeps out then. So there's other cheap skates. Didn't leave me anything. Damn it. Secret door. What if there's like some kind of switch or something somewhere? No? Maybe I need like fireball spell. Yeah, this isn't definitely an older game, man. Definitely an older game. This is Baldur's Gate. We played through the first one, um, well, a couple months ago now when it came out. Probably not a couple months ago. It was probably like three years ago. You get 500 gold coins, 500 EXP. You rescue the innocents taken from the ambush caravan. But where's the caravan master? That's correct. Where is the caravan master? Hmm? Well. Biletooth's treasury. This is the first death right here. I should have saved it. Oh my god, dude. I didn't save it. I didn't save it. Oh my god. How many? I'm gonna tank this guy easy. This key must open the locks and bolt to his treasury. 
basic. I can't carry anything else. Did that go? Whoops, my bed. Let me just save it. Oh, it's nice and easy. Um, can I wield a bow? I can't. One forty nine. Shoddy leather gloves. They do zero. <laughs> 27, 24. What have I got here? Okay. Um, I think that he weighs one. Shoddy great X. That thing weighs 20. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. No thanks. God, the sound in this game is great, man. Yeah, come on then. Let's get this. Still got this bad boy for your PS2, same dude. Absolutely. Shoddy scale helmet. Shoddy scale gloves. I can't wield this stuff, man. Damn it. Oh, man. It's worth so much. Oh, here we go. Okay, that was kind of trash as well. to leather boots oh those are actually better than mine okay I'll allow it got some got some decent boots 47 this thing is worth more I can sell it let's toss these padded boots keep the helmet 49 39 33 away 6. I'll, I'll toss the maces. I mean, how did you get tucked back here, though? You know, that's all I'm asking. How did you get back here? You got caught. Set 
free. Joaquin be praised. Oh no. I am Randala Brasshorn, owner of the ambushed caravan. You have all my gratitude, adventurer. Oh yeah. A thousand EXP. Well met. I'll see you well rewarded upon my return to Baldur's Gate. I am a merchant of no small wealth, among other things. Are you traveling south? Higher on as my bodyguard until we reach the city's walls. I do pay well. Yes, I'll see you safely to Baldur's Gate. Let's go. I'm not done here, but I'll return shortly. A uh. deal then. Wonderful. I will meet you down the trade way in Wayfork. We'll travel south to Baldur's Gate from there. Farewell, adventurer. Immediately there. I like it. <sighs> Chopper. Terrible. The marauders are slaughtering everyone. There may be some survivors trying to hold the Wayfork in. I'll remain outside and search for wounded villagers to help. Are you a shop? Can I... T can we... Can we do business? <sighs> Terrible. The marauders are... Oh my god. Come on, man. Please be a shop. I want to... I want to start, you know... start buying and selling man I wonder how spark in the dark development is coming along yeah I got you guys. My okay, I got this guy. Can I break all this? Empty. The house has been ransacked and the residents are gone. They may have fled to the Wayfork village down the road. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That's right. Better dig deep. Got any great swords? A padded helm. That was a club. I shouldn't have grabbed that. Fifteen hundred gold. Wait, is there any more guys down here? Did I miss someone? Treasure chest. Hidden in the bushes. Okay, maybe that wasn't. Alright, alright, I'll allow it. Up, up, up. 
I get through here? No. Double unite. What's up, dude? start tossing stuff again uh okay we'll drop that drop that that morning star is worth 12. oh clubs yeah let's get rid of that throwing axe Ooh, throwing axe i like that Skill though. Shoddy throwing dagger? No thanks. Everybody's gone. You saved all the fleeing villages, but what about those still trying to hold the Wave Fork village in? 250 gold, 750. That's it. Shoddy padded armor. I actually got some. I actually got some armor. I actually got some armor. Heavier armor for better defense. I think I'm going to need this. Scale and chain. Oh god. Um, four points left. Let's have a look. Vampiric touch three, seven to forty-two. Don't really need that right now. Long weapon focus. Plus two to hit, plus one damage. Nah. Nah, we don't need any of that rubbish. We need armor proficiency. Yes. Scale helmet. Nice. Shoddy scale gloves. Hell yeah, now we're starting to talk about it. Shoddy padded armor. Beautiful. Um. Wait, what is my AC now? My armor is 24. Hell yeah. trying to relax I'm doing good man just playing Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance been waiting for this to come out since the first one came out seems so long ago now oh there's a wizard there a shaman
shit. My biggest threat right now is enemy wizards. Man, I kind of don't remember much of this game. I don't know why. I wonder how many times I've beaten this game. I don't think I missed... I don't think I missed anything down here. No. Yeah, I don't know why you guys can't see. Uh, I don't know why you guys are seeing that. It's just a... It's my... Uh, it's a, like a capture card thing. I, I don't... I can't describe it, man. Like, I don't see it, but, uh... No, nah, it's not from the game. It's... It's like an OBS slash capture card thing, and I, I... I don't know how to get rid of it, to be honest. Stand here and vampire touch this guy down there. Now you pay attention. Karnak the Butcher. Getting butchered. Easy! Look at old mate right here. <laughs> Wait, no. I get, give me my loot first. Shoddy scale. That's all I got? Some shoddy scale boots? Dude. Actually, you know what? That's that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I'll allow that. I'll allow that. Like a righteous comet from the sky, you are. Yes. Had you not come now, I dread to think what could have happened. Laren is my name, the innkeeper. I thank you with all my heart. That's right. Here, please take these few small things as a matter of reward. Yeah. It's the least we can do, seeing as you saved the village and all. Great sword. 500 gold, 1,000 EXP. Who else am I talk, talk to Kira? Well met again, adventurer. Tell me about these Red Fang Marauders. Monsters, brigands, mostly goblin kind. They've been raiding around Baldur's Gate for months. The city's soldiers can't find where the lot of them hole up. What's she got to say? Well met again. Rescuing damsels and saving villages. Careful, or you'll give adventurers a good name outside of Cormir. <laughs> I'll have to spread word of your successes to my friends in Baldur's Gate. So, shall we go? Baldur's Gate awaits us. I had some questions first. Uh... Later, later, when we've reached the city. A fine tavern, sipping spiced wine, playing my yarding. <sighs> and so, I'll answer your questions then. Now, shall we go? Uh, just give me a sec. I just want to make sure. Oh, I actually can't go outside. Oh. Okay, then. Well met again, adventurer. So, sh Okay, so that was the tutorial done.
The interrogation of the prisoners is complete. They know little. Nonetheless, I would hear it. They said Eldrith used the Onyx Tower to make shadow gates which allowed her to move troops around the western heartlands. They claimed that when they slew her, the tower crumbled. Yes, Khan's current employers, the Zentarum, seek to restore the tower and the power it holds for themselves. They use those three fools to wrest it from Eldrith's hands. However, the tower would better serve me and my allies in the east. I must have it. Yes, my lord, but Khan, the prisoners claimed they killed him in Xantum's guild. <laughs> no, not Khan. He's well known to be exceedingly difficult to kill. Khan must have feigned his death, just as he was never truly working for Xantum. It's more likely that the Zentarum paid him to eliminate Xantum, which he accomplished through our three guests. Ooh. I see. And the guests. Shall I kill them? No, no, my good Zanast. Leave them be. I'll amuse myself with them later. At last, Baldur's Gate. Your reward is promised. May the coin serve you as well as you served me, adventurer. So, what will you do now? 1,000 gold, 1,000 EXP. I'm an adventurer by trade, so I'll need to find some work. Hmm, well, I have some matters to tend to. Informing the relatives of the slain guards, the recovery of the caravan's goods, that sort of thing. But should you require my help or are looking for work, please find me at the Purple Worm Inn. I have associates that could use an adventurer of your formidable skills. Farewell, for now. Okay. Look at me just walking up. I remember when I first saw this, I was like, wow, that's so many 3D people. Oh my god. Technology is amazing. Blowing my mind. Cannot do that here. Greetings, adventurer. I am Solus Dunkirk, captain of the guard. Heard any rumors lately, Solus? If you're looking for rumors, try a tavern. The purple worm is nearby and good enough. I may have work for you, though. Hazardous, but paying work just the same. A trio of adventurers recently tore through the city's sewers, slaughtering monsters and unsealing portals. Oh, yeah. Now the sewers are crawling with all manner of carrion beasts. Beasts I want dead. The city pays well. Are you up for the task? Yes. Do I have a journal? Slay all the monsters in the sewers. Hey, listen, there is more characters on the screen right now than in cyberpunk 2077 i'm just saying right they promised us crowds and what do we get eh, three or four maximum take note right is this the purple worm the church of helm okay well, we're definitely gonna go in there but first of all There's no reason to enter the church right now. Greetings. Woo! My new heroes, priest of Helm. How might I assist you? Alas, I have not. May Helm watch over you. Farewell. Well, that was a simple conversation, wasn't it? Hey man, you heard any rumors? Do you need any help with anything? It's quite dark inside this temple. What 
What have we got here? The purple worm. The tavern. Uh, there's the sewers right there. Let's go and have a quick look. What's up this way? Bloodmire Manor. Okay, we're not going to Bloodmire Manor. I can go into the sewers. I'm going to go to the purple worm. What's over here first? Omduil's Manor. Oh, I did not see you come in. Are you, um, did you, uh, should I have something prepared for you? Who are you? Me? Oh, I, uh, well, that's easy. I'm, I'm Omduil. Sage and seer for hire. I like this guy's voice. Of hiring, I mean. Too much work, yes. Too many projects already. I've come a long way to speak with you, Omduil. Well, yes, of course you have. Of course, Omduil, sage and seer. Uh, seer, my good elf. I thought you might come with questions about your past. I've reserved some time. Yes, just for you, but uh, my time is expensive, I warn you. I I'm an old man and time is precious to me. I can pay you 2,000 gold. What? Confirmations then, yes? Always a good start. Uh, your name is indeed Isaran, as you surmised from that black tome you carry. Isaran Aundril. A noble name, yes? And noble it is, which you might have found had you not been turned away in the Grey Cloak Hills. A name of princes. You are no longer welcome in Evereska, last of the great hidden cities of the elves. Though I cannot yet tell you why. I just spent two G's on that. Usaran loans more of his past regaining some lost memories and experience. Oh, you gained 2,000. Damn, that was almost a level. That was worth it. 100% worth it. It won't move. Move. Oh. Isaran's power increases with the memories he regains through Omduil. Power increases. What did I gain though? Anything? Did I gain some new skills? Nope. Uh, we've uh, we've met before. Uh, yes, yes, but 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 for me, you see, rumors and their ilk are my trade. I do not simply dispense them for nothing, as I would feed the birds in my garden. No. I'd like to hire you again. Very well. Yes. I'll return when I have enough to make a proper payment. Okay. Oh, so that's how this works. See, I've I've totally forgotten all this, man. Or maybe it, it's because I've never played with this wizard before. Right, this pathetic, weak, frail creature. Makes me sick. This is the purple... Oh no, that's the helm. That's the priest of helm. Wait, this is the purple worm? Yeah. Oh my god, the dwarf. This place is absolutely bustling. Talk to Durbin. I cannot do that here. Ah, away with you. Didn't your mother ever teach you never to bother a dwarf in his cups? But if I'm bringing another cup, have an ale good dwarf on me. Ha! That's different then. My thanks for the ale. What do you want? Hear any rumors of note lately? Yes. It so happens I have the vault key for a treasure chamber in the halls of the hammer. Could be of some use if 
you're ever there. The holes of the hammer. So I said, an abandoned dwarf hold far to the north of here, across the high moor. I'll give you 1,000 gold coins. Ha! Not likely. But some like that would hardly buy me boots. Oh. Okay. Damn. High roller, this guy. Talk to Ul Ulua. Begone, stranger. I have nothing to say to you. A dark skinned elf, you a drow? Am I? No. I'm merely a darkly tan gold elf. I lay out too long on the sparkling beaches of Evermeet. Now, farewell. Our conversation is over. Oh my god. Okay, she's got nothing to say to me. Can't talk to him. Can't talk to him. Can't talk to her. I cannot do that here. Well met again, adventurer. Many are grateful for your help, I'm certain. I've heard little. Only that adventurers are hard up for work in a city. So many came to fight Eldrith, but she's already been vanquished. That's right. What happened? There was Eldrith in the Dark Alliance she was gathering to destroy this city. But that's why you came to Baldur's Gate, isn't it? To defeat her? Well, it's been done. Three adventurers journeyed into the wild, found Eldrith's black tower, and slew her. Yep. The tower crumbled, vanished, and the three heroes with it. That's all I know. Do you know anything about the three adventurers? Oh, I do. I met them once, when they came into the Elfsong Tavern. An archer, a warrior, a shield dwarf, I think, and a moon elf sorceress. I came into the city with a caravan from Om. Xantum's thieves robbed it, but the adventurers helped recover everything. They also killed all the thieves, even Xantum himself. But then the Hands of Glory came. A society of assassins who've risen to power in the city's criminal underworld. Xantum destroyed the old thieves' guild. Adventurers destroyed Xantum's. And now it's the Hands of Glory. The worst of the lot so far. Ooh, the Hands of Glory. Can I talk to the innkeeper? I cannot do that here. Ha! Huh, I thought you might seek me out. Come have a seat and we shall drink and sing the day away. I'm seeking work. You spoke of associates that could use my skills. I've two troubling tales to tell. Firstly, there's been a series of kidnappings. Some victims number among the city's wealthy elite. Death lies in their future should ransom or rescue not be made. There has also been a rash of mysterious, grisly murders. There have been some leads, but little progress, and more mutilated corpses turn up each night. So, still interested? You'll be well paid for your efforts, of course. I'll investigate the murders. The citizenry is on edge. The bodies are often left so mutilated that they're unrecognizable. Some witnesses claim to have seen misshapen and contorted figures leaving murder sites. And similar sightings have been reported around Bloodmire Manor. Perhaps you should start your search there. It's on the northeastern side of Baldur's Gate. Bloodmire Manor. It is the home of Luvia Bloodmire, sole heiress to a vast fortune. Many have sent sons there in hopes of marrying Bloodmire Gold, but she turns them all away. She's an eccentric woman, morose, and it's said macabre. Ooh. Can I do both at the same time? I cannot yeah. do that here. What news? Have you put a stop to the murders? Damn it, where the hell is the blacksmith? Where am I? How do I sell stuff? I cannot do Damn it, dude. Okay, so I can go into the sewers. Or to Bloodmire Manor. ST Spider, what's up, dude? Yeah. 
Look at the power and the skill. Five points. I need six. Half plate and plate armor. Summons undead aid. Ra higher ranks give stronger pits. I guess I'll grab that. I have two points left. Clarity reduces the casting cost of your spells. That that is actually really good. Let me get that. Um energy 70. Summon an ally. god i have a skeleton how long does he last for oh whoops my bad why are you playing a weak mage um because i'm playing on pc right now This guy's dropping fives? You know what? He's actually... He's actually tanking a lot. You know what? Uh, he's okay. He's, he's alright. are not possible to attack the NPCs. Stark in here. leather gloves Ooh. two Are they better than mine shoddy scale they weigh two no gems huh nothing over this side 90 monsters remaining uh, I'm going to get the game on PS5 when it comes out on PS5 because I want to get the Platinum Trophy, but... Um, so I'm playing on PC right now. And I just thought I would try... I would try and see what it's like as a necromancer. The life drain is pretty significant, man. It's not bad right now. My mana regen is high enough. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Dude, that was one one attack round that was half health so it, it is still like really easy to die not gonna like you know that looks like a, a knob yeah like a turny knob oh okay shame
Um, oh, that's how to switch wave is icy. What? Translation just wanted a taste of real power. I love those little explodey barrels. That was cool. Look out, champ. Here we go. AI is at least smart enough to avoid the, the bombs, right? Just stand in the tank and easily. I kind of like how they they arcadified like the early D and D spells for the wizard. I, I think that's pretty cool, right? Because I, I think at this point in time, D and D was at that phase where what was this D and D? This was like two. 2.5 I think at this point uh, we're still at the point where you could only like memorize what like a couple spells per day something like that like it was real low especially at low levels man I'd only be able to use this skill like once or twice a day. What am I going to call this guy? Let's call him Slim. <laughs> Oh man, he's so, he's dead, man. I can't believe he tanked that. That was good. Still no danger of dying, but it was decent battle. Fine amulet. Man, I have a lot of gold here. I just, I desperately want to sell some stuff. What's my alignment? Alignment? You mean as the necromancer? What do you mean? I'm a moon elf necromancer. There's no alignment. I am lawful good. I'm a champion of justice and a warrior of light. Helping people. Saving the world. It's what I do, man. You know? 
I need to jump up here for a second. I've already been streaming for two hours. My god. Flaunting our power by using vampiric touch on the environment props. Hell yeah. Only warriors of dark would call yourself a warrior of light. No. False. Your actions say otherwise. What do you mean? Felix, what's up, dude? Remember this absolute classic of a game. Oh my god. Dude, I don't have any ranged. Yes, I do. Dude, how do I use a damn healing potion? Oh, nice. Easy. That's right. See that? Look at the skill on display. a skill right here. Skin's burning, head is hurting, throat sore. Oh my god, dude. Your skin is burning. It doesn't sound too good, man. You should go to the doctor, dude. Definitely sound like some some kind of like allergic reaction or something. Especially if your skin's on fire. Literally my only weakness, man, is ranged characters. Those slimes will just two-shot me.
Recall potions. Yay. Destroyed. Okay, so Yeah, okay. Wow, big slimes. I'm gonna die here. I have no I know it. come a little closer how are you still hitting me oh my god man The only problem with this is that I have to be in point blank range. Okay, what happens if I... I cannot do that here. Dude. Welcome, it's Bartley! If you're looking for a good blade or... Or, uh, say, I know you. You're the adventurer that helped Randella Brasshorn back on the tradeway, yes? Yep. Oh, it's an honor to meet you then. Randella spoke highly of you, and her words like gold. I'm Bartley, a merchant, and my shop boasts many fine deals. Many fine deals. I've also hired on Goodly Durbum, a skilled dwarven artisan. So, if you're looking to have equipment custom made or broken down, my workshop will serve you well. How's his workshop function? It's simple and affordable, my friend. If you've gathered any magical components, magical gems, and the like, you can have them crafted into whatever equipment you need. Or if you have magical equipment that you'd like broken down for the raw components and perhaps even reforged into something else, we can do that for a small fee as well. I kind of forgot that. Can't say that I have, friend. Nothing of interest to an adventurer, at least. You might ask Randella, though. She's always collecting information about this or that. What does your store have to offer? My shop carries the finest armor and weapons, the work of local master craftsmen, as well as imports from Waterdeep and I. Okay, I'm selling. Here we go, dude. Look at that. 
3,000. If you need weapons or armor to protect you from someone else's, you've come to the right place. Here we go, dude. 4,000 gold. Fine hand axe. I don't really need any. Oh, I can have a crossbow. I didn't realize I could wield a crossbow. Nice. Fine defending stuff. Fine fey dagger. 3,000. Short sort of corruption. Instant kill. Plus five damage inflicted added to magic energy. Runestone and an emerald. One to four acid damage. Oh, okay. Disintegrate undead on a critical hit. 15% chance. Oh, disruption, sorry. Plus one cleave. Plus one AC for each armor piece worn. Nice. I receive new shipments frequently. So Oh man, he already has fine scale. Wow. Fine studded leather armor. He already has it. Fine studded, huh? Scale mail is 15. Fine scale is 30, but this is... It only adds two. Full set of studded, maybe? It's cheap. Or I take, or I just go all the scale. Scale boots, gloves, helmet. I could take all of these, but a but a but but a but that's two, that's three grand. Three grand. Uh, 4,100. Yeah, I could do. I could do this full suit of. I think I'm just going to buy these three right now. sell all this stuff I cannot do that here. welcome friend you know they're saying you intend to enter bloodmire manor i have a bad feeling about that place myself if you need weapons or armor to protect what does he actually have here fine ring of battle 10 percent ignore knockback fine keen plus one wisdom Rune stones. Oh man. Seeking arms and armor? I have everything you need right here. Okay, we got that. Weighs twelve and its armor is it's rubbish. It weighs 12 and its armor is 4. Um, so I could get... I could just get this. Fine studded. You'll find no other merchant with quality and prices to match mine. I've been supplying brave adventurers for over a decade. 
How's the game? It's awesome, man. It's great. I had to sort out some frame rate issues at the very, very start of the game because it was running at like 9,000 FPS when I first started. So that's something to think about if you want to pick this up on Steam. And you've got like a decent PC, it's just going to be running warp speed. All the animations, everything, including all the enemies, everything's running at like two to three times faster than normal. So you're just like zipping around everywhere. Arches and spear throws and shit are just, that stuff's coming in like... Like they're using rail guns, man. Quake 3 Arena. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to save up for that, man. Who cares? I'm just going to save up for it. Screw it. Cheers, dude. Hell yeah. Save the game. Okay. Actually, yeah, okay. I've been, I've been streaming for like two hours. I'm just going to jump up real quick. Um, and I'm going to grab a hot drink. And then um, we'll keep playing, right? BRB, hang on a minute. will learn nothing just standing here.
shadows take whatever player has left me here to rot. Ragnarok is trying. Nah, look, it's because, um, I actually wanted to buy the game on, on PS5, but it's not out. It's not on the store right now, for PS4 or PS5. There's some delay due to the PlayStation Store. So I had to settle for buying it on PC, the inferior gaming platform. So here we are. And I decided I'll just make a, a bung character for this PC playthrough. I'm just experimenting. I've never played with this uh, with this moon elf before. Just a um, just going with life drain really powerful man vampiric touch is awesome i've already tanked like two bosses with it just by standing there i didn't realize the life drain was so strong like i'm not sure what the what the the uh the translation is whether it's like one to one well not it seems pretty significant uh, yeah I, I don't know exactly What it's all about. No loot. Disgusting. Wait, there's a little zoom. Okay, so I can zoom in a little bit. Fine ring, that's some coin right there. And you can zoom out to here. I need to look out for like secret doors and stuff, man. I haven't been doing that at all. I don't know exactly where they are. There's probably a ton of them. I've probably missed a bunch of them already. 20 monsters left. Damn it, I see you. All is not lost now. Monsters left. Oh, my skelly's gone. Skelly led. Oh. I am not going to survive that.
Holy crap. Man, he's gonna get crushed. I knew it. Man, one of the most terrifying enemies in the game, even if you were like an absolute killing machine. I remember dying to these things so often when you had to like run right up there. the door to this thing Lily it's right there and these are all the creatures My door is open. I've got these three guys left. Okay, hold up. Terrifying dude is risking. Slain all the monsters and carrying beasts in the sewers beneath Baldur's Gate should return to Solus. Nice. Done. Got them all. Beautiful. Let's get the reward. Greetings again, adventurer. One of my men told me you killed every last monster down there. Well done. Here's your reward. That's right. Better be good. Thousand gold, thousand XP. Okay. You have some more stuff? No. What does he say to me now? Alright. Okay. Welcome back, friend. Oops. 
the work of local master craftsmen as well as fine ring sold um So do I just buy that ultimate suit right now? Fine scale now. Seventeen armor. Screw it. We're going in. Going in, man. Here we go. Look at that. A wizard with a full suit of scale. I like it. I like it. Mm hmm Yeah. 29 kilograms worth of heal uh, rejuvenation potions. Disgusting. I cannot do that here. Welcome back, friend. You will find no Let's other sell that. Prices to match I've been supplying brave adventurers for over a decade. There we go. Decent. Okay, now I've got to go to Bloodmire, right? Bloodmire managed to put it into the murders for Randala. Okay. Save this before I jump in there. Crowds denser than Night City. I cannot do that. Oh man. Yep, he needs to see a doctor, this guy. Need some ointment for that skin. Blood my mana. Okay, so I should have this guy, yeah? Why do I not remember? Play the harpsichord? You plunk out a nameless tune. That's right, man. You think about that. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a quest! things okay I need to level up my I need to level up my DPS Killing things too slowly now. Good. 
Dude, I don't remember the textures being that low res. It was just me. I mean, this was a PS2 game. Was it really that low res? I don't know, man. Can't tell. We're jamming on that harpsichord. <laughs> ding, ding. Exactly. Break every vase in the place. Armor increase was decent. For sure. Oh. Oh, wait, I can't drain this guy. Oh, because he's dead. One gold coin from that tank. Okay. I do not have the energy required. I do not have the energy required. Thirteen gold, pathetic. Damn it. I'll save you, Slim. We got this man. I didn't save him. No, Slim. I subscribed to your channel and waited five minutes just to tell you you're so cool. I appreciate that, man. We all know that you're the cool one here. Okay. Facts. I will learn nothing just standing here. Oh, pipe down. Remarkable light mace. Ooh. Is that better than my um two to twelve? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's finally like a decent, an actually decent, um, like melee weapon. First one we've found. Dark Alliance 2, yep, just came out today.
All right, hey man, you you fight the guy. I'll get the loot. Very important. You're a servant. 12 gold. Okay, next level, I'm gonna level up my Vampiric Touch. We're gonna get this thing at maximum. Actually, this is going to be really tough. Um, what about this? Nope. It's not doing jack. He got back up? What? Dude, holy crap. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to need to uh, invest in something else other than just vampiric life drain spells what have i got though i don't think he's a wizard so he doesn't really have what do i actually have accuracy alchemical law nah we don't need any of that animate dead i'm gonna get that chill touch i could freeze cold damage will be fine uh what else do i have enchant item decrease the cost of creating and breaking down magical items endurance carrying capacity innovation Channel death energy at nearby enemies in your front arc affects one additional enemy per rank. Innovation could be cool. Flame arrow, there we go. Yep. Yep. Flame arrow. Ghoul touch, one poison damage. Huh. Haste. Haste will be good. Hold. Rubbish. Life drain. Kind of rubbish. Melf's acid arrow. There we go. Raven feed women. Rubbish. Shocking grasp. There we go. Sprint. Vampiric touch. Willpower. A touch that steals life from enemies. 7 to 42. Um, so I'll probably get that on level up and then maybe flame arrow? Yeah, maybe flame arrow. Hold is never rubbish. Hold is for the weak. Yeah. <laughs> 
40 damage. See that? Watch me tank. Watch me tank this battle. Oh, maybe not anymore. Oh my god, heals. I'm getting slapped around. Wait, he's not. Oh, so it was just. I just knocked him over. Okay, there we go. That's how that works. Crossbow. I can get a crossbow. In fact, I might I might get that crossbow. Uh It does work. Huh? Did I just like completely miss something? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to go back this way. So I think I did. Maybe these guys just take like half. Okay, so they don't actually drain any life. Found a harpsichord music sheet for left. Ooh. What's that shoddy bastard sword? Can't wield that. a good treasure chest too it's done man we nailed it that's decent Blank with a crossbow. This is us. Hundred percent. This is us. Okay, I got six points. So what do I want? Oh, I could get half plate and plate just knock that off. <sighs> okay, wait a minute. So I, d I figured out I don't need flame arrow then. So what does this need? This only needs three. 5 to 30, 7 to 42. Let's get 3. 
and then let's max out our animate dead there we go so oh it, it is always just a skeleton oh but maybe they're stronger skeletons I missed an opportunity here I feel like Missed a big opportunity. Uh... 55. Oh my God, dude. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Now, where is the great sword? Oh, this is a new game. Oh, you didn't, you didn't realize? You thought I was still playing Dragon Age, dude? Dude, they gotta do Champions of North next. Oh, we gotta get like Champions of North all sorted out as well. That'd be great. Flawless padded boots. got here there are only one okay but good good dollars though very good dollars shoddy warhammer 27 the thing weighs eight i might toss that on the ground trash Gauntlet Slayer Edition is a solid return to its former glory. Four player local online co op. That's cool. Those guys are stuck. Nice.
I mean, I can't out DPS this guy. Not ranged. Shoddy amulet. Some heals. Oh my god, I didn't see the guy in the doorway. Get out of my way. A fine warhammer. I, I don't think I can wield warhammers, right? 5 to 15, man. Decent. Sixty-three. Oh my god, that's the biggest hit I've seen in the game so far. Man, this game would have been tough. This game would have been real tough on, on like hard, but this is on normal, by the way. This isn't on easy. So it's just not too bad on normal. I wonder what it would have been like on hard mode. Hmm. Champions of North was too short. Yeah. Champions returned to arms. Both, both of them. Okay, I have not even remotely finished this floor yet. So, let's go back. Tethering doesn't annoy you. What what tethering? What tethering? What tethering are we talking about? be this way. Oh, I sh yeah, there's something... Um, if anybody's wondering about uh, this game and the performance of this game and stuff like that... Um, maybe only on YouTube. You're talking about the screen... You're talking about screen tearing? Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't see it. I, uh, it's a, it's a capture card problem. It's not, it's not actually the game's problem. So, the, the version that you guys are seeing, uh, like with all the little stuttering and shit like that, I don't, I don't see that. The game runs perfectly, um, flawlessly. But for some reason, my like OBS and capture card, it just, I don't know what the deal is, man. This something's not quite right. Something's not quite right. Um somewhere and i just can't it doesn't matter what resolution i set it to even if i set it to record at like 720p it just just stutters and i have the 4k 60 pro mark ii 
Um, I, a part of me thinks it's like Elgato, man, honestly. I think I just need to like stop using Elgato capture cards. Need to put up a, uh, need to put up a new dono goal for a, um, for a new capture card. Huh? Like an Ava Media one. See if there's any difference. Appears to be the key to the library just outside this room. Nice. Got him. a tank. Nothing here? What? Huh. Huh, weird. Okay. I think that there's something like built in that's like wrong with um like capturing at 60 fps i bet you okay let, let me just try something here for a, for a second let me see if i set it to like 30. let me see if i set my elgato to 30 fps whether the screen tearing goes away give me one second Um, let me set it to, uh, wait a minute. What were these games set to? PAL NTSC was like 59. Okay. Let me just set it to NTSC. Let me see if this makes any difference. Okay. that did that no that that made it more prominent huh that's like permanently on the screen now i'm looking up in my obs i can see that it's pretty grindy okay give me a sec little let's do some experiments here so weird it's like it's okay for like a second then it just turns to absolute dog shit 
again not 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 i don't see that but inside obs that's what it looks like so that will be the version that you guys are seeing which just sucks i'm not sure how to get around it to fix that problem though um okay let's try like the next thing so i tried it a uh, 60 i tried 59.94 50 i'm really curious to see what happens if i set it to like 30 I don't think it's going to make any difference, but let's just try it here. I still I still see the big tear like the big horizontal tear it's ridiculous man it does it literally makes no idea uh, it literally makes no sense man I, I don't understand it so it's not resolution based it's not frame based I can only think that it's um I can only think that there's something like intrinsically wrong with like dual pc um like screen capturing sending that information I, that's that's all i've got man I, I can't think about i can't think of anything else it's bizarre i just set everything back to the way that it was because i can't obviously can't control it Oh, actually, let me see if this works. Hang on. Nah, I see. I still see that. I still see that. That that gigantic tear. I still see it, man. And the just the crazy sorry Yeah, there's no way. I, I, I don't know how to fix it, man. Just a, a, annoying. <sighs> yeah, I know. I don't know how to fix it. It slowly moves down the screen. Try to enable triple buffering on the NVIDIA control panel. But I feel like what that's doing is is that that's controlling things on my gaming pc which is already playing perfectly smoothly right like i need i need it to be i need it to be doing better things up here i wonder if hang on a minute i need it to be doing better things what if I give NVIDIA... Hang on. Let's let's open up NVIDIA control panel on... on my recording PC. Right? Give me a sec. I might be able to fix this. Uh, and then... Let's see if it's possible to manage 3D settings on OBS. Watch me like break my stream right here. 
swear to God, I'm gonna destroy it, dude. May the shadows take whatever player has left me here to I'm literally gonna break my PC, I know it. OBS. Oh, I don't think I can do it while OBS is open, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, let me... Do, I'm just going to try something here. What happened to the quality of the camera right now? Is this, is everything okay? Where is that tier? No, I still, I still see it. I still see it, man. hundred percent still see it there but i wonder if it's like i wonder if it's got everything to do with the fact that maybe it needs to like update i don't know could be an hdmi it's just maybe it just says straight up hdmi but I'm, I'm using like all the latest like hdmi i'm using like hdmi 2 or whatever um i got no clue man I got no clue, dudes. It's a shame. I enabled triple buffering as well, but, um... It's just went to sleep right there. I wonder if there is a setting somewhere in OBS that allows me to 
like is it a new capture nah 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 it's old school man but it's been like that whenever I'm playing PC games whenever I um, am capturing PC games it well actually it's not on every game but it's on quite a lot but it's never like that on if I'm using PS5 or console why is that might be time for an Ava Media that's kind of what I was thinking actually is it now now I'm confused got here are we good where is the janky tear is it still there it's still there i see it it's right on the character right now damn it yeah it could be the difference i think i think you could be right um i think it's the difference between it's the fact that i'm using like a 240 hertz monitor or whatever it is as my main monitor and then the obs uh the obs machine basically has a 60 hertz monitor even though i'm only capturing Um, you know. I would really like to solve this, man. That's all. I'd really like to solve that. Tearing when using G Sync. Wait, but could he see the tearing? Because there's no tearing on my on my game screen. There's none. screen was wait the stream was chopped to pieces uh g-sync on my monitor well actually you know what's weird man what's actually weird right now is is that because i'm playing so this is actually my my gaming monitor is actually set to 60 hertz right now
I will learn nothing just standing here. Oh, you know what, man? Okay, so I know... Okay. I know how to actually see what you guys are seeing now. So... Oh, shit. Okay, so I just switched it out to the HDMI input. So now I'm looking at the monitor. I'm seeing what you guys see right now. Which is just some gigantic... Yeah, some real, like, janky-ass screen tear. So I switched it to the HDMI, and that's 100% what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the jankiest, like, screen rip, like, right through the middle of the screen. Dude, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna try and, like... I wonder if I can switch out, like... You reckon I can try... Uh, the game doesn't have VC. Dude, this game is from, like, 1924. Right? I have a dual PC setup, man, remember? So I am using a... Um, uh, I'm using a... Uh, oh, God. What the hell's the... What the hell's the... 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 the I'm using DisplayPort. <sighs> so there's two... <sighs> When you have a dual PC setup, there's you need to you need to hook up like two outputs for your main monitor. So I can I can see things like I can get this image via DisplayPort and via HDMI. I just switched it to HDMI and now I can see what you guys are seeing. Which is just nasty. Hideous. Um. Okay, let me just hit the save point. So you're saying right here. NVIDIA control panel to try toggle off G-Sync.
I feel like it's an HDMI thing, man. Where do I find G-Sync? On the display? No, I don't know. No, don't know. Um, I'm going to try something else, though. I'm going to try something else. Hang on. I'm going to see if I can um, switch HDMI cables because I might actually have like a, a shittier HDMI cable. Okay, let me just see. Hot swapping HDMIs while everything's in use. This is the way to get the job done like a professional. Give me one second. What happened? Hot swapping those HDMIs, man.
Bullshit. Bullshit, no way, man. I don't see it. Is this... I mean, to be fair, it's kind of a, it's a little stuttery. But I don't see the tearing anymore. You're not going to believe what I just did, man. Okay, I wanted to do this first because I was going to set like a baseline. Guess what I did? This is a shitty HDMI 1 cable. So how come... How come switching to an HDMI 1 cable? So it's cho it's choppy now. It's not it's not high speed. It's actually kind of choppy. Um but the screen tearing is gone. So I had I've got like an HDMI 2 cable which was which is what I was using before. It was smooth but screen tearing. What the hell, man? What the hell, dude? Gods be praised. What? This is weird, man. Do you mirror the output using the capture card as a second monitor? Have to. That's where I came in, over there. That was second. Okay, so I gotta go to the cellar. I'll go there. Damn, dude. I can't believe it. So that makes me think, like, I wonder if... That makes me think, I wonder if it, it is possible to solve it. Via just some bit of HDMI. I can already tell the monitor is already set to 60 hertz. I can tell you that right now. The monitor is set to 60. Um, so it's 60 hertz on both monitors on both PCs. I don't know. 
What's gonna what's the least uh like least bothersome? You know, is it is it the least is it least bothersome seeing this like choppiness? It's pretty damn choppy, man. For me. I mean it what what happens? This is what it looks like for me. It's like it's smooth, and then it just like chugs. Then it's smooth, then it chugs. Then it's smooth, then it chugs. The other cable for me is perfectly smooth and it just has a rip right down the middle of the screen it's just like is annoying so it's like one or the other pretty much god this thing does perfectly well it's it's weird it's so freaking bizarre man The tearing was not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought too, man. I mean, it was annoying, but... I'm trying to think what the solution was for my friend's screen was torn to shreds. Dude, if you, if you can find it, I'd be interested to know. But all I know is, is that with my current setup right now, I have to have... Um, I have to have... Uh, like the duped monitor for the capture card and everything else so I, if the solution involves changing that I can't it's just some things that get easier when you dual monitor uh, when you dual PC but then there's others that just not what would be awesome is if you had two of the exact same PC right and multiple of exact same monitor also I just Dude, I wonder if it's got nothing to do with the capture card then. Like, whatsoever. It's got everything to do with HDMI. What's the best HDMI cable you can get right now? It's just... Are we still limited? Oh, I can't use keyboard. Whoops. Sorry, give me a sec. Um, when are we going to get like HDMI 3 or 4 or whatever it is? Like 2.1? HDMI like 2.1? Oh yeah, HDMI 2.1, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the capture card. I should just try this actually. It's a pretty cheap fix. I mean, it's like $30 to, to see. I could try that. I think that would be worth it. Right, could be worth a worth an attempt. Okay, I'm gonna switch back, switch back HDMI. Hang on.
the hell's going on? It's like it didn't change. I don't understand. Oh, dude, this is so weird. No. Nah. No, nah, I'm going to the cell at wrong place. I don't see the... I don't see the big giant... Um, I don't see the big giant screen tier anymore. It's like it's it's just it's gone. I'm still seeing like the chugginess. Well, every now and then. You think it automatically did that? Dude, where the hell where the hell is that cellar? Oh, it's over there. Okay, got it. You think even on display port? I'll check it. See what display port looks like. Hang on. Can't tell. This for me is so I'm looking at display port now. undead I can't do shit to undead man Yeah, just game is like nice and smooth for me on display port. Oh, that's my guy. Sorry, Slim. to be a reason for this right like a treasure chest down here or something holy crap it just got the weather just got really shitty
have a harpsichord maybe? Damn, the cellar was just for loot. Okay, my dude. Welcome back. It's or if you have my prices are always more than fair, friend. What are you looking for? Uh, sell so that, that warhammer, bell axe, fine short bow, spear. We make him bank now. I received new shipment. Hell yeah. If you don't see here, 4k I think I already got um yeah I got the fine scale so I've got everything I have the best of everything right now fine ring of battle and a fine keen amulet what are these two wisdom ignore knockback 1000 1000 Supplying brave adventurers for over a decade. Plus one to hit and damage. Plus one to speed. My shop carries the finest armor and weapons. The work of local master craftsmen as well. Uh... Plus one AC reduces duration of slow and stun. I see. All good. this thing weigh 15 it's 100 bucks oh i guess it was worth it i guess the only place for me to go is up I don't understand where the giant like screen tier has gone though. It's like that that screen tier is gone like completely. Or is it just like I don't see it, man. I switched back to the same HDMI cable that was on there before and it just seems to be gone. Yeah. 
I don't know. It seems fine. I don't know. All right, guys, I need to leave the stream here. Um, four hours. I know it was kind of a short one. Good morning together from Germany. I found your review about Baldur's Gate in the past days and now I play it too. I love that game. I play often RPGs. Oh, welcome, man. You caught me at the very end of this stream. I was just trying out Dark Alliance. Um, I'm going to get it on PS5 as well because I'm, I'm curious to see what it's like on PS5. Um, I'll, I'll try and pick it up as soon as it drops on the, on the store, but it's not there right now. Um, so... Yeah, I also I'm also really keen to try and fix up this like screen tearing issue thing. Control panel set at 60 when changing earlier and didn't change to 165 when switching back. Maybe. Maybe. Um Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I wonder if there's any way that I can get around that cuz I'd like to be able to you know, have everything. It only seems to be like when I'm streaming an old game or something like that. You know? Hmm. Like Pillars of Eternity or Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah, I love them. I love it, dude. RPGs is my favorite. For sure, no question. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to be playing this game again. Soon. As soon as I get on uh, the, the PS5 version, I'll be playing again. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm going to go make something to eat and, um, I'll see you guys soon. All right. Be good. <laughs>